find that tulip Sweet and soothing Yeah, she's so sweet and sweet and Sweet and soothing yeah, she's so sweet and soothing Bad girl, man, I love her movement So fine like rose, like tulip Big heart girl, come like Cupid Hot spice, might call her cumin Bay earns German like Munich I mean, move goals, this team be elusive Sweet and soothing Yeah, she's so sweet and soothing Bad girl, man, I love her movement So fine like rose, like tulip Big heart girl, come like Cupid Hot spice, might call her cumin Bay earns German like Munich I mean, move goals, this team be elusive Sweet, not sour. Man, I come through like this, my hour. Flying high, man, come like tower. And if I fall, then it all turns sour. Yeah, we ball, I'm talking cheddar. I'm who to call in stormy weather. Big 4 4 known as right of you. Play this way, come like you have to. Balls that pack and fly from coppers. Plug that batch, might buy her runners. M way trips, and we might touch Scotland. Broke this lap to drop on younger. 20 months to the next exit. She don't like it, but she love expenses. Let my young boy cash, then we exit. Me with the clutch, and we keep them all stepping. Spending so sweet when she comes through And her hair long like Rapunzel I know you'll be sweet when I taste you Pretty face with the waist, what's the We're back Alright, this is one for the critics, yeah Blocks, they, they deserve the win, but here what, we're bouncing like, back stronger, you know what I'm saying? Like, now, the battle male was the one, one, but the war definitely ain't, you understand? Like, understand? So what's understood don't need to be explained. No, the penalty never went in, bro. Okay. Maximum violence. I need maximum violence. I don't want peace. I want problems. I don't want peace. I want problems today. I don't want problems. I don't want peace. I don't want peace. I want problems. Yeah. This is why you're suspended, bro. Yeah. This is why. You're Back. I'm not back, man. I'm not back. He's 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 back. Now don't put it out there. Right. Nah. No. Right, we're trying to get a deal with the line. Nah, because the Dunce fans are on me already about being a snake. It's long. It's long. It's long. Hey, <laughs> honestly, it's tied for life. Tied for life. You know what I'm saying? Secret <laughs> negotiations. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Uh, I'm, I'm not here, man. I'm going for whatever. Back. back. Oh, are you kidding, bro? Yeah. Big game here. Bounce back game. This is hard work. We know we've got the quality, but hard work. like this, yeah? It was hard work. We played to it. We played to it. We played to it. We played to it. Right back. No, where would it get me? Send it me to go. Come on. We'll see, man. We'll see. But like I said, bro, today, we're going to see hard work. Different times. Hard work. We'll see. We'll see it today, man. But did he make the program? Unfortunately, man. Obviously, they're not looking for it. Obviously, what's he looking for? My daughter was born in it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We give thanks, man. We give thanks. Love, bro. Love, man. But last week, man, what I'm hearing. It's not good, man. It's not good. Why? We're talking about last week. We got a new game, bro. Don't worry, bro. That's what I'm talking about last week, so we remember it. Nah, we've got to remember it, bro, man. It's not our. It's a brand new week. Just forget about it. You gotta forget about it, bro. You remember it, bro. You go hard. You're giving them a little up. Forget them. I don't care about them. It's calm, man. We lost our souls last week. Yeah, shut up. He's blowing the load. He goes on the team. Um, you know oh, what? Yeah. You know what it's like. Hey, hey, hey! Three million views, you know. What's that? Global. The Megs. Three million views, everyone. Better. Same one. Better. The third one. The third one. The slow one. Listen. Um, sometimes there's a lot of people a bit, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, disagree. Russ is back. Russ, Russ is back. Okay, get ready, please. Um, come on. Bro, talk us through that penalty, though. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Listen, it was. Um, it was a good save from the goalkeeper. I rarely ever miss. It's a collective item. Well, you're not for less than that. You promised a hat trick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? You promised a hat trick. Yeah, yeah, listen. Do you know what it is? I'm a man of my word. I promised a hat trick. It didn't happen. But uh, I've still got 40 goals in the games. You know? I am the uh, least of Palace man of the league. Man. Yeah. Um, How many goals today? Yeah. How many goals? Huh? How many goals? I don't care. Let's go. Uh, not the result we wanted last week. How are we bouncing back? Nah, look, obviously everyone's spoken, everyone's taking taking it um taking it personal, taking it hard, a lot of them not over it. They just need to use that energy. They need to use that energy from last week, that loss, that pain that felt last week, all week throughout the days and 
and convert that today into something positive, do you know what I mean? Just go out there and be ruthless, man. Just take, take out that anger. Do you know what I mean? I know the boys were angry. We, we, obviously, we all spoke about it. Um, but what's happened's happened. We can't change anything. So we just have to make do. Just you know I mean? score Today, the front four is a bit silly, innit? Today. Um, so I'm hoping for six, if I'm honest. I'm hoping for six. Can we keep it clean sheet? Nah, Sunday league, innit? Sunday league, <laughs> I can't keep it clean sheet. Um, but if the front four get it going, and with the midfield behind them, it, it could get done, innit? But let's see. <sighs> and jog it out. Get preppy, boys. Come on, do it. Come on, come on. You've got to start fucking fast, bro. You've got to start fucking fast, bro. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me not. Can you get a bit higher if you can? You put the mouse in the box. Yeah, yeah, let's go get the ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Give me a chance of space, kick through his right and left, yeah? yeah. Kick through his right and left. Get those kick guys. I rolled low in it. Check this. I'm on it, please. I'm hiding behind him in it. Let's get him. Playing, I wish I was playing, man. This is dead. This is advice, yeah. Don't screw up to no referees or nothing, bro. Just behave yourself, drink your water, and face your front. Ridiculous, bro. All right, really quick, boys. Um, we're gonna kick off. So, first things first, yeah. Let's forget about last week. It's happened. We can't change that. But we've got to use that energy today, yeah. These teams, these lot, and everyone else—they were there. They're gonna think the blueprint is to try and get in our faces, to try and intimidate us. Now they think that's like the way it's gonna be to win. Don't let that happen. Every every week we talk about you know first 20 minutes we got to earn the right to play. This week we got to earn the right to fucking play. Yeah, we need to press every single ball. First ball, second ball. Everybody needs to be hungry. We can't give them no time. We can't give them no space. Yeah, and then we start popping it around. Yeah. Let's stick to our principles. Our front four today is the strongest front four we've had all season. Do you know what I mean? We need to make sure today, especially boys, last week we had zero leaders. This week we need 11. Every single person this week has to be a leader. Yeah. Don't look at each other, look at yourself. Yeah? yeah? Real talk, bro. The, the lineup's going to be like this. So it's starting obviously DK, Daz right back, Alex, Jordan, and then Alvin, you're going to go left back today, yeah? Starting holding two, Riffs and Rami. And in front of them, Kieran, and then Brad left, yeah. Rory, and then um, Yas on the right, yeah? Obviously, what's the case? 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Riffs and, Riffs and um, Rami are fasting. There's no excuse, but let's give them a bit of support in that middle, and yeah? And let's live up to each other today, yeah? That's it. No excuses there, boys. No, no excuses. excuses. I don't want to hear that. Daz, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let, let Daz say something. We weren't here last week, so Daz, give it to you. All I'm going to say is two things. One, don't be scared to turn them. Don't be scared. If, if plan A is not working, we juke it, give it to midfield, wrist turns. If it's not working, I give it to Rift, give it back to me, then it goes long or down the channel. Because they won't expect that. They expect us to do one game plan. Bop, bop, bop. Doesn't work. Bop, bop, bop. Let's switch it up. Second thing, energy, energy, energy. I don't care. I want energy from everyone. Work hard. We're not going to win games by, by popping. It's about working hard as well as popping. Yeah, two things. That's it for me. That's it for me. First couple as well. First couple. First couple. From the defenders and that, spin it anyway. Oh, that's it. Not, that's it. You don't need to play. You don't need yeah. to play. If I give it to you, on the half turn, just skip so then it, 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 it opens up, it opens up the pitch for the. For the like, and then when because backline, back backline definitely, back back definitely need to push up today. Then don't realize we, we, it's every every week we're too deep, and then the space between the midfield is 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 evident. Do you know what I mean? If you if you keep turning them for the first five, they'll think, oh shit, they're not popping on, they're turning. Then I'll give you space, so you can get, get on it and start popping. Yeah, yeah. So just switch it up, not always get right, it. In, the, in the final third, yeah, let's not overcomplicate it. Do you know what I'm saying? I beg, that like, please. No, wait, wait, where's, wait, where's, where's Yas? Where's he? Oh yeah, Yas, please, today. <laughs> I beg you, today. You shouldn't even leave this pitch without expecting a hat trick. To be honest. To be honest. Absolutely. There's goals today. Even a Sunday league man told me I'm pulled up. I'm saying, bro. Alright, boys. Race one thing. The gaffer said it as well. Race is back, but one thing I watched from last week, you boys are too good. When you when your back line dropped off a bit and give them respect and playing in the back, arcs pressure on us. So whoever the centre backs, we'll watch it at the side. I'm saying push that line up a bit, speak to the gaffer about pressing in midfield. No respect today. Energy on the front foot. Don't let them out of back line. And if the line's out, we've got to press in midfield. Don't give them time on the ball. The plays that we've got today, 
You should be welcome to Saha FC TV and the boys play away to Croydon JFC this week. As you see in that pre-match build-up, a lot of words being spoken by the squad. Um, still feeling the, the after effects, shall we say, of a 3-0 loss away to Spartans last week. So hopefully the boys can react and recoup and you know bounce back, as they say. Um, but today's opponents, JOC Croydon, it's going to be tough. Um, and pressure being applied there from Saha and it goes out for a throw-in. Chris with a lovely through ball threaded into the midfield. Number seven, Rami there, who is back in the team. Daz with his hand up there, number five, who collects the ball in a right back position, who's back also after not being available for last week's defeat. Yasin back as well, who, who wasn't also available last week against Spartan. So there's three players back into the first team starting 11 after the 3 0 loss. Um, so yeah, the squad depth showing this week. Referee gives a free kick to JFC. That's back in the same position. It's a bit scrappy at the moment. Can't really get out JFC. Um, seems to be in that corner for the last 45 seconds of this video starting, but Sims up with a strong header. Drops into KC, who keeps the ball well, rolls it over. It's Roy Deacon in for the first goal. And it's over the bar. I thought that was going to settle in the back of the net, but unfortunately, he's just hit it over. Probably taking a touch, which is just rolled on too heavy for him, but that was clear one-on-one -on -one there, and that should have been 1-0. And uh, Rory won't be happy with that, that's for sure. Saha straight back on the attack here. Hudson Odoi, number 10, flicks it on, keeps it to Rami. Yes, on the right, who delivers a cross in, flicked on at the near post by the JFC defender, picked up by Rory on the edge, who beats one, beats two, and it hits it over the bar, but he's pulled it back for the free kick, even though he's got the shot away. But Rory over the free kick, hits the ball. Pretty poor free kick, to be fair. Didn't really look 10 yards. Surprised he even got the free kick. And it's all Saha here at the moment. And there's a Jack Grealish lookalike here. Or maybe a, not maybe Cash, Maston Villa. Not Jack Grealish. I was being too nice to him, wasn't I? And it's straight onto the key, but definitely not a Grealish there. Darren with a throw in. Just about got it over his head, looked like a foul throw. Was leaving a bit late there. Number two, Mr. Cash of Aston Villa. Daz delivers a great point. It's an own goal. It's an own goal by JFC. That was a fantastic delivery there, though, by Daz, who's back in the first team in a rabbit position. Walks away coolly, like it wasn't nothing special. Um, but he's done well there. Casey wins the ball, lays it into Daz. One touch out of his foot, puts in a brilliant delivery. Um, one where the keeper didn't know whether he can come out and get it or he could and he doesn't and a great angle there by the cameraman drops right at his feet it's in the back of the net oh, that's unfortunate that is unlucky Saha responding well to be fair they've st they started the better had a couple of chances obviously not any of them well two of them have actually gone off target but there's the first one which is an own goal JFC not much really going forward in the early first half and that's uh, not paying attention there by Yas, who's coming in field for that one to Riffs. Alvin, who's gone into left back, as you heard in the pre match from the gaffer. Um, I think Jerry's still suspended, and he was quite vocal there as well, as you heard in the pre match build up. JFC lose the ball there, Riffs. Um, Rami picks up, so he tries to play through ball into Rory. He's not happy with that through ball, but picked up by JFC. Lot of time there for the centre back to pick a pass out. Uh, picked up by Hallett, who's uh, pairing with Jordan Sims at centre back today. And it's Daz um, on the hit, but doesn't go through. And we're back in a second phase of play here with JFC picking up the ball, number 12 on the left hand side. Cutting in, gets a cross in, finds it on the edge of the 18 yard. Then number six picks it up, looking for a pass to play. Plays it inside, picked up there. Ricocheted back. JFC trying to make things happen here, finding it difficult because Saha are all over them like a swarm of flies when they get onto the ball, putting a lot of pressure on them. But JFC relentlessly coming back and they're in on the ball, they're 18 yard, and it's in the back of the net. It's 1 1. They've scored. They have scored after me just saying Saha giving relentlessly no space towards them. Sims gives it away to Levin. Rory couldn't get there. And a dink over and he's in. 
It's a lucky finish. He's hit the ground and it's bounced over DK. Could DK have done more there? Could Hallett have done more there? You can argue both cases. Um, but he's got away with a finish. He has got away with a finish. He's hit it into the ground there and it's bounced over DK. So two, two fortunate goals for both teams, you could say. Um, yeah, it's it's a tough one. You know, you wouldn't say they're quality goals and did both teams deserve them? No, but did they make their own luck? Yes, they did. Um, on a very dry, hard pitch, you could see, you know, um, still a little bit of dust coming off and the ball bounces in certain parts of the field. But it's JFC Croydon on the attack here and Alvin coming back into that left-back position. But he does well at number 10 to, to keep the ball and allow the other teammates to get into a phase of play. But they still managed to keep the ball there. Number seven plays it back into trouble. Surprised he played that pass. He had time to maybe take the ball on uh, in a forward position. But Alex Hallett here just loses out. Probably a touch too much. Gets stuck on his foot. Lays it off to number 12. DK comes out and it's wide. Tough angle. I think DK made it tighter for him. And the JFC keeper there is massive. It looks like Atletico Madrid's all black in gold there. It's like six foot, what, six foot four there, that keeper. Um, and here it is here with the right back sorry left back for JFC yeah it's a bit of a it is a bit of an up and down game it's, it is a little bit fast paced it's, it's not great on the eye it's hard trying to play football um, they're trying they're trying but it's um, a game where you're going to have to take it by the scruff of the neck today I feel and that's for sure and you can see yeah there's an inside pass there and the wavelengths of the players that you know it hasn't really sunk in yet there's no there's not been no synergy at the moment but a strong toggle by Daz and the referee gives a free kick there it's probably a soft one um not the best of angles for the referee to see a floated ball which was poor lovely inside touch there into Casey who finds it straight over to Rory and Bradley were left up for a counter attack but just over here and straight into Jeanne Black's hand there in the JFC goal. Boy, it's bouncing all over the place here. And it's lovely left-footed volley there to Yasu brings it down smartly there. The ex-Newcastle United player here now playing in Sunday League football for Saha FC. And um, from playing at the St. James Park to playing at Coney Hill. How about that, eh? Lovely turn there, tries to find the uh, striker on running there, doesn't get to where he wanted to get to. But yeah, number 10 here, he spins it off, beats Hallett. It's only Daz and another player, could he have played it to his strike part of number 12 for a side foot finish? He could have, but he hits it into the ground and a lot of their strikers have been hitting their balls into the ground as we saw with the first goal. Number 12 taking on Hallett there, tries to, but Hallett shows a lovely bit of pace there, acceleration to win the ball. Well done there by Hallett. Riff's coming deep and it's half time. Let's see what the boys say. Interesting first half. I've noticed we're having most of our luck down the right. Their, their left back is probably their worst player on the, on the pitch. And when we're popping it on the right, between Daz, Rami and Yas, it's pulling off. So now let's maybe shift the game a bit more towards the right for the start of the game, yeah? See how it goes. And also, let's be a bit more direct, man. Because when we're direct, when Yas is running, we're running at them, Kieran's running at them, they don't really know what to do. And we're getting a lot of balls into the box. And we just ain't got the bodies enough to get there. Yeah, I, was, I was even going to say that we just need to start committing a, a bit more people in the box as well. Because when we're delivering, it's like there's limited options inside there. We need to start putting, like, start committing. If we're going to go forward, like, commit. Only in the last 10 did the defensive line also push <coughs> forward a bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know the boys, what I mean? the gaffer said, even what I saw on the side, man, you've got down on right back, riffs, and then Yash, that side, if we, if we play a little bit down that side, left back's worse than the pitch. So much room there. Alvin's doing the job for us at left back, sitting. But we've gone down the left so many times, but obviously it's tough in there. But just speaking there, the game will settle. Get it down the right. Just the back, like right back, 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 back as well. Like, I feel like we're, we're taking a bit too long to get the transition forward. Mm -hmm. like, let's not dilly dally at the mm -hmm. back as well. Like, get the ball forward quickly. Get Riffs and Rami playing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, in that first 20, when we had Riffs and Rami playing, yeah. and they were picking it up and they were moving it, we were dominate. Like I said, we've dominated most of this half, and we've let them go with a cheap little goal. I mean that we've done so let's just put a bit more care into what we're doing. Guys, anything in this game. Do you know how do you feel how do you feel with my man? I feel like I feel like uh, Darky especially keep trying to put it over keep it over your head in it yeah. and they're running in behind yeah. there. Oh so is, is the line too high no, or do you know what it was? Towards the end I was tiring out. 
so that's why he's getting the run on me. But if I got a breath back now, I'm, I'm, I'm calm. And I'm saying one time to lift him. Yeah, take, yeah. No, I'm going to take a yellow. I can't, I can't lift him again. What? Have you got a yellow? No, no, no. no. Get a yellow, take a yellow, lift him. I've lifted him twice. Yeah, we've got again, more. Five, well, five until you get a yellow, keep lifting him. Lift him, lift him, lift him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From that yeah, side, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know Yash and Grace. I need to be more direct. Play, you can, you can, you play one ball over the top. Bro, sometimes just the basic of it, bro. Turn them over. He's done one ball to him. You know what it is? You see sometimes when we're in the middle, yeah? Sometimes we take an extra touch. Sometimes the slide ball is on. Mm. Just slide it down in between the, the, yeah, the full back and yeah, the centre half. Yeah. Because it's on. Get me? Because yeah. we're making the wrong open up body. So just slide it. If it's mm. get, get to the keeper, it goes to the keeper. Yeah. Yeah. But you get me? They're going to keep dropping and dropping and then KC gets more space. Rami, Rich gets yeah. more space. So don't get bored playing. of doing yeah. the right things though. Yeah. Yeah. Like making the right. Don't get bored of it. Yeah. Continue doing it. Yeah, at the back yeah, you look like really and truly you're playing against what you see is what you get in it. Yeah. That big target guy in it. Yeah. Yeah. So really and truly, like all it's gonna be is just concentration yeah. for you lot. It's, it's I don't. I'm not. They're, they're not great. Do you know what I mean? It's just concentration. Mm. And maybe it was too comfortable at the time. That's when we lost a bit of concentration. But ultimately, listen, everyone's right. It's just the transition now from defense to midfield, midfield to attack. You know, to get to start getting forward and getting goals and shots. But to be honest, boys, this game's gonna be won by. Our quick football. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just quick football. For the second half, wise words there. Um, interesting. JFC straight over the top, and he's in. Number twelve's in. Eighteen yard takes a try on the edge. DK doesn't die, and it's in the back of the net. What a start by Croydon JFC. What a start. Two one up, and no one saw that coming. Straight from kickoff, here he is, the left foot, a plays it over Jordan Sims' head, who just doesn't seem to get the flight right, and number 12 is free to get the strike. Could DK have dived and saved it? Oh, it's hard to tell from that angle. We probably thought it was going wide, but it's in the back of the net. And one, the irony, the irony, Bradley hudson Adoy just before the kickoff started, was talking about what? concentration boys for the defenders for the defenders it's about concentration and yeah. was they switched on there you know from the neutral you'd have to say no they wasn't switched on and they were punished they were punished two shots on target for JFC in the back of the net in the back of the net and it's 2-1 and uh, Saha behind again and gonna have to work hard to get back here on top now and um, JFC on the ascendancy here number 12 running at his uh, Centre back there and the other in the left back position doing well. Beats them easy into the box as a strike and misses. Oh my gosh. How has he not put that into the back of the net after all of that work or even found his teammate that's coming on and Rami Payne around there with the keeper. Oh my gosh. Boys, boys, wow. That is um Oh man, yeah. Anyway, straight up to KC, who brings it down well. Just runs away from it, picked up by Rory, who's coming on and supporting him. And um, waiting for someone to support him. Alvin Dow coming in the left back position, who gives it away straight into their player. And uh, yeah, that's been the, the story of the day today. Not finding those passes into the players where they need to make a difference. You know, the passes have been lackluster. I haven't been into feet for so hard. And it looks like, you know, you don't want to get frustrated in these games. When you start getting frustrated, it gives impetus to teams like Croydon, JFC and others to just push on and um, keep niggling away, you know, and that's what they will do. Rory does well with a one-two link up, driving into the box. Number eight follows him in and he drives it across and Jordan Simpson on the centre-back position finds himself with a strike. Deflected, fourth JC, JFC players there to try and get rid of it, which they do. That was close. Jordan from a centre-back position finds himself in the box and he's still there and... Um, Wow, that was close. And Yassin on the ball, picks it up on the edge. Can he make something happen here? Finds it across just to Riffs, who's trying to get the ball working and finds it into Rory's feet. Rory tried to turn on the ball and he can't get away. There's a few JC players around him. Um, um, Croydon JFC players around him. And there on the counter rear, number 12's in. He's surely got a score. He does. It's 3-1. I can't believe this. How open was that defence? Because Jordan was on the attack there and he never got back into a defensive position from when he had that strike. And you can see from this through ball here, Jordan just in the far corner coming back. Alvin, is he there? Daz has pointed out. Halleck, could he have stepped? Oh my gosh, the amount of space, the concentration has not been there at all. Did DK come out too easy to make? Questions, questions, questions. Yeah, but that was poor shape and... That was poor defending all around there. And it's uh, a hit and hope there from Casey trying to find Yassin. 
and um, they've been picked out on the counter. They've left them spells, um, themselves wide open for space and just haven't dealt with a counter attack so hard today. And JFC have had three shots on target and three goals out of five attempts altogether on goal at the moment. So an 80% shot target ratio that's brilliant ah oh, and he hits it over the bar hudson Adoy hits it over the bar that should have been in the back of the net that is unlucky yeah, leaning over the ball and just couldn't get the whip that he wanted to flick on there trying to find yes and it was more of a hit and hope really it's more of a can i get that ball over and you know they need to be more assertive than the ball here so they need to show more assertiveness they need to show more more courage, more bravery on the, in their passing, and just show more. Riffs gives away, but the referee gives well challenge, well challenge. There was a play on an advantage there by the ref, but picked up by Rory, tackled by the left back Alvin there. Rory doesn't have any options there. Look, just holding on to it, comes closer, and he loses out, but he gives a free kick for the one on Rory, and Hudson will go with a free kick. Oh, off the bar, it looked like it was going over, but it was just, the wind just floated it and kept it where it was. Hallett's there, can he find the goal? It's in the back of the net, and they're back in the game, 3 2. A rough one, but it's in the back of the net. Um, and it's just one of those games where that's how the goals are going to go in. And ah, oh, that one tipped, I don't know. It's like a rope on the end of it, and someone's pulling it down to try and get it on target because the way that went up and over, that looped in. But Hallett does well to get the first and second ricochet. And um, Saha needed one of those goals, you know. They just need to get themselves back together again, get back to the basics, start playing closer together, you know. The gap between the midfield and the striker has been too big at times. Um, and usually they play the one-two, but they found that difficult today. So they just need to get closer to each other, you know, and play that fast attacking football that they have been all season. But it's 3-2 to JFC. And... Should have bit made it through. That pass to Alvin was an easy pass. And that's been the story of the day today. Them five-yard passes just haven't had the quality to make it to, to, to each other. And, you know, and JFC have just picked up on those and um, gives away the free kick there and there. And, uh, yeah, it was a free kick. Tough one, but it was a free kick at this level. JFC dinks it into the 18-yard. Oh, number 10 finds himself in the box and it's in the back of the net. DK comes out but punches him in the face rather than the ball. And it's in. These balls and dinks over the top, I mean, they have just not been defended. Like, who is picking up who? You know, even number six there, Alvin's dropped off him. Everyone's standing and watching. Um, that's a difficult one to take for the Saha boys for sure. But JFC, it's 4-2 and this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough for the boys to get back into. But another shot on target. That's four shots out of six attempts for JFC. And they've scored four out of six. So well done to them. Loses the ball there today. It's unfortunate, Alvin. He's lost a few passes today and um, there hasn't been any other options for Saha on the bench. If they kept the same 11, um, they found it very difficult and it looks like they're, gonna, they're not going to get the victory. I'll be surprised if they turn this around. JFC are just going to see this out for Saha. I haven't created many chances and I don't see them squeezing this one out, you know. Um, and it's going to be disappointing for them to take after a loss last week to get their rival Spartans. But here's Riffs on the ball. Finds Rory driving into the box. There's a quick pass, but Bradley doesn't get it under and he's pulled up and his injury is shown all day today. And he's been having to force the play and there's been no options really. So difficult riffs trying to make things happen. But JFC just going to have numbers behind the box here, which is what they're going to do. They're just going to work hard. It's Casey delivers, bounces. Oh, how unlucky. Straight over. Saved by the keeper, who couldn't get his hands on it. And it's just gone over. Short corner there by Rory into Riffs. Plays a quick one, too short. And it's gone out for a goal kick. Yep. And that's been the story of the day today, you know. Chances have been few and far between. And it's 4-2. It's Croydon. Let's see what the what the team say. And it's unfortunate. Let's see you next week. See, you see when we play against teams, all teams, like people have been in teams, like in this league, to be honest with, we're the big team in the league. Everyone wants to beat us. Yeah. So we turn up to the games like, yeah, all right, cool, we're gonna beat every team they play. Yeah. 
Every team that we play is their cup final, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, so when they beat us, they celebrate like, yeah. like they've won the league. Yeah. Yeah. You get me? So uh, we need to rise to that every game. Yeah. Didn't rise to it last week, didn't rise to it this week. 100%. So like, come on, man. We, to, we, come in, we come into games thinking, yeah, we're going to win. We've got players on our team to win the game. We've got yeah. Our defence is good, our midfield is good, our front line is good. It's not the case, bro. It's not the case. It's not the case. Bro. Man's got it's a battle. Case, yeah. Man's got to kick man to 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 to, to get to get a leg up in the game. The same shit, man. Man's got to run week, about. Man man's got to do. Elbow, like, man's getting kicked. Man's I like, looked at the ground, boys. The first ten minutes, looking at the, your the team and their team, I thought you lot gonna absolutely smoke them. Do you know what he's spot on? Let me say something. No one can't tell you, yeah, how your mentality is or control people's fear in it. At the end of the day, bro, like boom. If man's talking loud or whatever, you're playing on football, bro. Hit man, elbow man. It's, at the end of the day, we're here as a team. No one ain't gonna let no one get touched. Yeah. But it's two fucking weeks in a row, yeah. But I just think man's just pushed out of it again, yeah. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't, And I don't even want to lose my head. Bro. When you look around in the squad, there is an aura that five percent or ten percent dipping off. Looking around, knowing we can win the game. That five percent dipping off from Saha and Beacon's right. Everyone to them is a cup final. Yeah. They're fucking on it. The 50-50, they're every on it, and we can smell it on the side. Bro, we look around good, and we think we're just gonna win. We can't. We can't be having the same conversation next week. We have to make sure everything we've spoken about, we're actioning next week. We're making sure everyone's in nice and early. We're making sure we've got subs. Again, that's on us. I think this week, obviously, we knew Mad Jay's out. Yo, yo, hey, boys, 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 boys. Listen, I forgot. Yeah. We know, obviously, we're absentees. Mad Jay's back from next week. Yeah. Um, a few injuries. Sean will be back. The squad should be bigger. But we need to make sure, like you said, things like our transition, things like our, our heart, our, our work rate. Do you know what I mean? Having someone lift someone in the middle, not letting mm -hmm. other team midfielders run us. We need to make sure that Set the doesn't man, man, yeah. man, man has to be streetwise on the pitch as well. That's it. Because yeah. yeah. it's all good saying, you know what, it's one thing all good saying this. We've got to go action it yeah. now. We have to go action it next week. Do you know what I mean? So when I put out a game, next week's a double header as well, by the way. It's oh, four 30 yeah. minute halves, yeah? So 60 minute games, 60 minute games. Yeah? So we need a bigger squad. So, just like Brad said, when I've got when I put the team out on, yeah, on Monday, fight, let's man, get it nice and early. It's, it's not tomorrow. always not lost, lost, lads. Do you know what I mean? Always not lost. Yeah. It ain't done yet. Let's just keep going and see how it is.